You're scared, coward. You got man enough to f with me. You can't last two minutes in my world, bitch. Look at you scared now, you ho. Scared of the real man. I'll f till you love me. I had to get high. I had to back then. I had to get high. I'm not sure if this is the weirdest backrooms entity I've ever seen, but it's definitely up there. Real quick before we get into it, subscribe to see more of my content or I'll surgically swap all your fingers and toes with no anesthesia. Entity 161, more commonly known as Leon, is a toddler-sized leech with a pair of long noodle-like boneless arms that end in little points instead of hands. At the very front of his body, he has a ring-shaped mouth filled with three large sharp teeth. No matter what climate one finds this entity in, his skin is somehow constantly wet and slippery, leaving a visible trail of mystery fluid as he slithers around. No valuable scientific data was gathered by forcing a series of humans to drink varying amounts of it. This entity is always adorned in a white collar, a multicolored necktie, and white tuxedo cuffs placed slightly above the points of his arms. Do not insult his tie. He'll take it very personally. He's also always seen with an exaggeratedly tall and skinny light brown top hat. With him, Leon carries a black leather briefcase which he uses to store items he's collected. Despite looking like a standard briefcase, it's able to store objects significantly larger than both it and Leon himself. This entity has been known to function as a wandering salesman of sorts, and is fully capable of human speech. However, his teeth are so large that he can't seem to close his mouth over them, causing him to have a permanent lateral lift. What the hell did you put me on the show for? I wish one of your guys had children so I could kick them in their fucking head or stomp on their testicles for you could feel my pain because that's the pain I have waking up every day. If a wanderer encounters him, he will usually make an attempt to peddle a small variety of items to whomever he stumbled upon in exchange for the person's blood. Offering Leon another bodily fluid results in him contacting the authorities. These items can range greatly in value, consisting of anything from random junk to highly sought after objects such as royal rations, life insurance, or mescaline. Leon is generally friendly with wanderers, if not also kinda slick. If a wanderer happens to encounter this entity or vice versa, he'll make an immediate attempt to strike up conversation and temporarily join the wanderer on their travels or duties. He'll accompany the wanderer until he's either successfully sold them an item, been shoot off, or simply decided to go somewhere else all on his own. During the times in which Leon is conversing with a wanderer, he'll often make attempts to shift the conversation to the topic of his wares in hopes of making a sale. Leon's not really my friend, he just wants my business. Should the wanderer agree to his products, he'll open up the briefcase and advertise a selection of four to five items that usually range in quality and usefulness. While Leon claims to not be a drug dealer, he does sell drugs. The standard prices of items seem to be completely random, but it is possible to haggle with Leon in order to make a desired item cheaper. At the moment, no pattern on what items Leon deems as valuable has been discovered. I found the man's once, and he was selling a new iPhone for the same price as a rotten apple core. No semblance of value at all. It's important to keep in mind not to touch an item unless you're absolutely sure you want to buy it. For whatever reason, Leon considers any item that has been touched bought, and will subsequently claim his payment whether you're willing or not. Sounds like Leon needs to take the those online courses that they make every college freshman take. Instead of accepting any form of currency or trade for his items, this entity only accepts payment in the buyer's blood. Whenever one decides to purchase an item, Leon's hat will briefly shudder before the top flips open and spurts a purple gas cloud in the face of the buyer like some sort of Alice in Wonderland Nightman version of a Dr. Seuss book. This gas will completely knock out most wanderers approximately 15 to 20 seconds after inhalation. When the buyer is unconscious, Leon will then proceed to plunge his three teeth into one of the shoulders of the buyer and consume the amount of blood he's owed, using a blood-sucking method similar to that of an actual leech. It's believed the gas his hat spits out is supposed to function as an anesthesia, so the buyer doesn't have to feel their blood being sucked out. It's an instant knockout for humans, but for higher level species it's kinda like getting hit with the dentist gas. <laughs> When finished with the payment process, Leon will leave the area and the buyer will wake up about 10 minutes later with a Y-shaped scar on one of their shoulders, a mild soreness in the arm with the scar, and the purchased item sitting on the ground nearby. This entity is a pussy pacifist and will flee at high speeds if the situation gets violent. If cornered, he'll usually resort to hitting the aggressor with a puff of his knockout gas before frantically scrambling away. The only other times Leon gasses something without an agreed sale comes if one tries to steal something from him, as he'll very often manage to knock out any attempted thief with his gas before they can get away. Afterwards, he'll take both the payment for the item and the item itself back. Despite his generally pacifistic nature, Entity 161 has unintentionally killed some wanderers in the past by taking too much blood all at once. He doesn't seem to be aware of the fact that creatures actually need blood to survive. Having stated, they can always just grow more. I mean, 
Like, he's not wrong. However, he does seem to favor specific blood types over others. He'll very often bring up blood types as an icebreaker conversation, and seems to generally lower his prices for types that he favors. Currently, it is believed that his favorite blood type is B positive, while his least favorite is O positive. See, I don't even normally use blood for biological functions, but I allocate resources to make it just so I can get more X from the backroom slug dealer. Well, that, and I just throw humans to him for stuff and he doesn't seem to mind. If you haven't seen my other backrooms videos, by the way, you should go watch them if you know what's good for you and value your life. I also want to thank MayaBunny23 for this new still. This awesome artist is a cult classic and will be in the description of every video. That's it for this episode. If you like this and want me to keep all your limbs, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all notifications enabled. Oh, hey, why?